Hey, welcome back to Ross Torter Garage. This will be a quick one because I should have done this video when I installed the, the custom heater, but I forgot. So let's go over installation and wiring of one of these universal uh, heater control switches. They're for fan speed and turning it off and on because they're for sale everywhere, all over eBay and Amazon, everywhere. But Mine didn't even come with a wiring diagram. I'd look it up. So I'll show you how it wires in and let's test it out. All right, so we're inside the truck and I'll wire this up with jumper leads just to test it. So we're gonna have five wires, okay? We got three wires coming out of the switch, red, blue, and black. And I've extended those wires with the same color long wires just because I'm gonna have to mount this switch up in the dash and I don't know how long the wiring is gonna need to be so I just extended it but the colors are the same and then we have those three and we have two wires off of the fan motor positive and negative on this one the blue wire is the positive and the black wire is the negative so first thing I do we're gonna take the red wire from the switch and attach it to the positive lead on the fan so that's my blue wire. So just for now, I'm going to twist them together. Okay. And then I'm going to take a jumper lead from these two wires, twist it together here. And that is going to go to the positive side of the battery. Okay. Then we've got the black wire out of the switch. That is going to go to the negative side of the battery. And again, I'll use a jumper lead. Okay. And then the last wire is the blue wire. And this is the blue wire out of the switch. And that is going to go to the negative side of the fan motor. So just to go over it again, red wire out of the switch attaches to the positive lead of the fan motor, and then those two are tied to 12 volts. The black lead out of the fan switch goes to negative side of the battery. Blue wire out of the switch goes to negative side of the fan motor. All right, so now everything should work. We turn this on, it should turn on, and we should have control. Here we go. Turn it up. All the way. Turn it down. Infinite fan speed. That's awesome. And then off. And I just want to see here, because we know this is going to make heat, anytime you put resistance in a circuit, you're going to make heat. And it has this heat sink on the back with fins. Just curious how hot they get or if you can even feel anything. Really, I don't. Sometimes I get concerned with that just to make sure there's no other wires around the area, but I really don't feel any heat. So there you go, nice and simple. I'm going to put this in the dash, wire it up permanently, and then we've got the fan all hooked up. All right, so there you go. Not bad for a $5 switch, right? I bought three of them because, of course, I'm a hoarder. And I got more cars to build after this, but you know that. So when we come back, we'll get this uh, heater plumbed up, continue on on the truck, get moving. So that's it. Short video. No reason to make it long. See you.